The one that I want to go out with is probably number three because he sounds white. Before we get started, everything the guys say in this video is for entertainment purposes only and does not reflect our actual beliefs. We brought in three white conservative girls who'll be asking us a series of questions. But what they don't know is that all of us are black, except for my friend Ari. After each round, they'll pick their favorite contestant and least favorite. After that, they'll come to our side of the curtain and pick their favorite based off looks. Damn, you guys are black. Hi, my name is Julia Randy, and I am from California and I am searching for love. I've been to so many church services looking for men that can fill my needs. I just haven't found it. So I'm super excited to be here, be a part of this um, dating, blind dating game. And um, we'll see what happens. Amen. I don't make fun of God, but that's okay. Ooh. I wasn't making That was number three, sorry. If we were at a party and we were talking to members of the Black Lives Matter movement, how would you convince them that all lives matter? Number one. Uh, first of all, Julie, I would tell them that I wasn't there with you. White women sometimes can be a little, you know, they call you guys Karens. I don't, I don't wanna, I just don't wanna have that, so. Um, but while I was there, I would, I would bring a, I don't know, I went to a lot of protests and it was a lot of Gatorade. It seems that they love Gatorade. I would just bring a lot of Gatorade for everybody and I don't know. I'm not really into the protests, sorry. Well, I, oh yeah, it wasn't necessarily protests, but just how would you talk to a group of people that are Black Lives Matter movement people? How would you express to them the truth that all lives matter? I don't, I don't know. I would give them Gatorade. Number two? I would just say uh, simply, we're all God's children. I like that. Number three? I would tell them the truth. All lives do matter, the least of which is the blacks. And I would explain to them also that Black Lives Matter is a terrorist organization that picks a lot of very toxic things to stand behind. Can I ask what you guys are doing over there? Because it feels like you're packing bags or like... We just, we, we prayed together just now, sorry. Okay, cool. So number three, you, you were saying that you would... Um... I would just calmly educate them. I think the only way someone could support Black Lives Matter is someone that clearly doesn't know anything about it. Because right. if you know about it, it's a horrible organization that, pack, that backs and stands for a lot of negative beliefs that negatively impact the world. Although all lives matter, so that includes black lives, I would say that obviously white lives matter the most. I love that. You, you love, love that. that? Yes, I do. Um, number four, can you give me your answer, please? Ultimately, my life my, matter. You know what I'm talking about? Like my life is the most important life to me. So as long as my life matters, I, every, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't look both ways before you cross the street, you know what I'm saying? Like, you might get hit, so. Okay. Before I answer that question, Judy, I just want to say number three, I'll beat your f***ing ass. Sure, sure. Let's start there. First of all, first and foremost, I, I heard, you, I know what you're saying, number three, about Black Lives Matter. They apparently took all their money and spent it on themselves. And I just want to say that's the black you can do. Like, I f*** that get all these money from these white people and you spend it on your, I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. So I was gonna choose number three because I love what you're saying and I completely agree with all of it. Um, you're welcome, but number five, I, um, I like your logic. I think I'm gonna choose number five. I would like each of you to please describe to me your dream first date. Uh, just one question for you, do you like the movies or like bowling or anything like that? Um, that's a great question, and I would say that I love bowling. All oh, tight. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah. So, so I was thinking like we can maybe like I'm going to bring you flowers, you know. I, I, and then after that, you know, I'm introduce myself. Then we can go bowling and, and have a good time. Maybe grab food there, drinks. But I don't know. I'm competitive though, so I'm not going to just let you win bowling. Number two, can you please describe your dream for state? I think a nice hike uh, to a picnic and uh, we could pick our own flowers. Oh. Yeah, it's your date. We, hey, it's hey, it's you your did, date. You did all this extra stuff, and I kept it simple. You did. You asked her a whole other question. It's the first date. You know, to be honest, it's kind of hard to choose when you guys are all talking and bickering. So maybe just if we could just, if I could hear single answers um, from each individual person, that would make it much easier on me. Thank you. So number number two, I like that answer. Um, number three, could you please describe your dream first date yeah, to me? Yeah, for sure. And also, thanks for stopping the bickering. I love a strong, powerful woman of well, God. That is awesome. Thank you. For our first date, I would take you to church because that way, even if it's a sh date, at least we get to find God for just a little bit. Excuse me, can I ask you what church do you go to? Saint. The Church of St. Lauderdale's Saints. What? <laughs> 
Number four, describe your dream first date, please. I'd want to surprise you. I'm pretty spontaneous. Um, I love trips. Maybe a trip somewhere like Santa Barbara or, um, you know, Burbank, somewhere nice. Thank you, I love that. That's, that's very sweet. Okay, contestant number five, describe your dream first date to me, please. Listen, I, I, like, I like your name, man, Judy with a booty. Listen, I don't really be going out like that on dates, but I feel like if you wanted to take me out or something like that, I, you know, I don't really be dating girls. I ain't, you Are you know, gay? I ain't got no money from them, you feel me? You don't date girls? No, 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 I don't be dating girls unless they take me out on a date. You take me out on a date, I'll take you get a little faux for faux or something if you want a little faux for faux. So far, my favorite is number five. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, wait, hold on. I, I'm, one more time, your favorite? Number five. Hey, man, I'll fuck with that, man. And who's your least favorite? <laughs> number four. <laughs> <laughs> One, one more time, one more time, it's hard to hear you behind this curtain. <laughs> Tell you the fi final question and um, by faith, I'll go on and trust God to lead this conversation from here on out and hope for the best. She just prayed, right? <laughs> God up here on the phone right now. Which of these is your favorite American hero and why? Thomas Jefferson, Robert E. Lee, or Rosa Parks? I'm going to go up. Uh... Probably, I like Rosa to be honest. I, I know everybody gives her a hard time about that whole movement and everything like that, but this, it took a lot to, to stay somewhere where somebody tells you to get up. And you know what they could have did to that black woman? That was, that was ridiculous. Anyway. Number two. Uh, I'd say Thomas Jefferson because he freed the slaves. I'll, I'll, Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. Okay, number three. As much as I respect and admire, here, I'll wait for these, these gentlemen to stop. <laughs> Are you serious? As much as I respect Robert E. Lee, Robert E. Lee and everything he's accomplished, I'm gonna have to go with Thomas Jefferson. We use the light bulb every day and it's so important to me. I love the light bulb. I'm gonna be honest, Judy, I was pretending to be someone else that last question and, and that's not me. I wanna stay true to who I am, a man of God. This, this is the real me, this is my real voice. And my favorite American hero, it's LeBron James. It's, he's not even on that list, to be honest with you. It's, it's a tie between him and probably Tiger Woods. I, I don't, you know, Obama was cool too. I like Bush. Bush wasn't that bad. That, it's probably all four of them and Robert E. Lee. I just felt like Rosa should have just sat, sat down. I don't think she had to start all that bullshit. I like Rosa Parks because I feel like we're kind of the same type of person. I have the same struggles as her. If I got to answer, I guess I'd say Rosa. Not for the reasons y'all talking about. I heard she had a fat ass. So... Truly a man of God, you are. Nah, I like that type of shit. Like, Judy, I, I hope you got something you're sitting on. It's cause... Julie. Hey, man, I, I call, that's a pet name. I call her Judy. Oh. Big booty Judy, I like that. Number one, definitely like what you had to say about Rosa Parks. I, that was an, ins, an, an inspiring um, answer. And right away when you said that, I knew it clicked with me and it resonated with me. And I would say, obviously, my, my least is, is uh, Number four. <laughs> I hate number four. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> I hate you, and I hope you die. Why do you hate because number I do. four? I'm not number four talking, this is number five, but why do you hate number four? Just because I feel it. You can feel it? Yeah, it's the energy and the prayers, and I just, there's something disgusting and something <laughs> demonic. <laughs> the one that I want to go out with, Probably number three, because he sounds white. Damn, you guys are black. <laughs> oh, okay. It based off of looks. Oh my God. Um, you, because you're shy and you're barely looking at me. Oh, wow. Okay. And I like to be in control. I'm like a vulture, oh, looking wow. for its prey. I you found about to get it. preyed on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number three. I knew it. I knew it was you. That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. fun though, thank you. It was oh, yeah, fun. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Was, uh, you did wait, a great what's job. The, uh, what's the month after February? March. March your ass up out of here. Oh my goal th with the video is that all these girls pick Ari. <laughs> because it's like, if I'd be nervous to like, do I pick the only yeah. white guy? Yeah. Although that's the guy I really want to pick. Contestant number one. If you could be someone famous for a day, dead or alive, who would it be? I think John Wayne. 
I, I know it sounds crazy, but I, I love John Wayne. He's a historical person, act, Western. Oh man, I love John Wayne. I'm sorry, I got too excited. Yeah, I'm shooting those guns. All man, right. you know, John yeah. Wayne's so cool. Sorry, I shouldn't be that excited about that. Number two. Uh, I'd say Liam Gallagher from Oasis. Uh, I love British culture. I think the Brits are dope, and I would love to have that accent. Okay, yeah, it's pretty sexy, yep. Yeah. Okay, number three. I gotta say Keanu Reeves. Love to be Neo for a day. He's a heartthrob, he's generous, he's kind, he's a rock star, he drives a motorcycle. He's a badass. Okay. He Arthur. is, that hair. Where do I even begin? I would say my favorite person to be would be Nelson Mandela. He was a, a hero where I come from, and hopefully, if I could see him in another life, it would make me very happy. Cool. That would be. He's like a king, right? King of Africa, yes? Yes, yes. <laughs> You like this, eh? <laughs> All right. I like you. I like you. Nice. Well, no disrespect to this fella here, but uh, if I had to choose, I'd probably, probably go back and be Robert E. Lee. I think he was an amazing fella. I really uh, enjoy what he stood for. You know, I'm a Southern man myself, so. He's somebody that I always looked up to. My favorite, I'm going to have to go with, oh, this is a tough one. It's between John Wayne and Keanu Reeves. Number one is Keanu Reeves. Number two is John Wayne. My least favorite, no, no, don't take this personal, Robert E. Lee. I have a great relationship with my father. What would you say to convince him you would raise our family with traditional values? First of all, I'd like to say I'd tell your dad I love you. Um, and I, you know, I really care about just us and seeing a future for us and, and growing and, and being a partnership and just uh, hopefully, you know, I don't know if your mother is still around, but if she's still with your father I, and, and we get a chance to kind of watch them, I would just tell them like, hey, I, I would love to have something similar to like what you guys have, you know, like not knowing like family problems or anything like that, but just like, you know, I, I want to build. Amazing, I love a man that builds and makes money doing it. I think just me being there in general. I mean, my dad wasn't around, so, you know, I think uh, me just existing, being in the moment, being there, and I think that's enough. Where did your father go? <laughs> where, did, where did my father go? Uh, my father, uh, he, he went to, uh, you know, there's, he, you know. Uh, he went to go see Nelson Mandela. He went to go see Nelson Mandela, yes. That, let's just say it that way. He went to see Nelson when Nelson, uh, Yes, uh, my father was in prison. Number three. Well, I'm hoping that if I was around your family enough, it wouldn't really take much convincing. They would get to know me, and at that point it would just be as simple as, hey, is it okay if I marry your daughter? And it'd be that. If I took a lot of convincing, it probably wasn't meant to be, to be honest with you. That being said, I would let your dad know, for example, our children would not be sent to a public or private school. They would be homeschooled. We'd be going to church every Sunday, whether these kids want it or not. And number four. Ah. Where do I begin? My father was a good man up until he left. Just like number two's father. Is this the Lion King? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 would, I would take your father with me to Africa. Whoa. And I would show him the power of vibranium. I might choose you just so you could get my dad to do that because I might pay money to see that. That would be. Well, hey, would money be. will never be a problem with me. You will never have to utter the words money. Have you seen Black Panther? Ooh. <laughs> Who hasn't? It? Who has it? I love these. I love these. Who has not? Oh uh, yeah, I, I personally haven't seen any of these uh, Jigaboo movies, but um, <laughs> as far as um, making you my old lady, I just you know tell your father, hey, Mr. Bennett, sir, I'd like to have a drink with you. You know, we go out and have a drink, and I'd let him know I'm uh, ready to make a woman out of her. You know, she can cook, she can clean. Sounds very nice. I don't do cooking and cleaning though, so. Well, you, well, you never get married with me. <laughs> well, you might as well not even pick me. <laughs> My most favorite answer was the South African gentleman who's going to take my father to South Africa and money's no issue. My least favorite was the, the one who wanted me to stay home and cook and clean and not talk, unfortunately. 
Number one, give me three reasons why Donald Trump is the greatest president of all time. Uh, oh, well, um, that one thing he did where he threw the, the paper towels like he was a basketball player. I, who does that? <laughs> that was so crazy. And I, I don't know, uh, honestly, starting a college was so dope and then charging people and not even giving them an education. Come on now. Great scheme. Love Donald. He was the best. I mean, I wouldn't say he was the best or greatest. I mean, he was funny. He got nice homes. I like his homes. I think he got a fine wife, uh, Melania. Uh, or Verania. This is my favorite question so far. I love, I love Donald John Trump. And I voted for him both elections, proud to say it, baby. And he has a great sense of humor. He is smart. He is not a phony politician like the rest of them. He's a real man. He's an entrepreneur. He's a Zionist. He raises a great family. He does the locker room talk. We just need three. He hooks up with women. <laughs> we just need three. He's successful. He is a man amongst men. He is a champion amongst losers. Number three, thank you very much. Number four. Not being from this country, it's hard to say, you know, what is uh, this, this Trump Donald. Uh, but I would say he, I like that he, he doesn't seem to care. <clears throat> Sorry, my accent's going away. He, 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 he does. Sorry, I'm losing Are you my... faking your accent, number three? Why number would I do four? that? No, no, but I would say one, he is, he's really good at being a person, that's one. Two. He has no filter. When it comes to his, his tan, like he's, he's tanning, he's orange to tan, like, like I'm, it, it's really, it's, the thing is, it's so bad that it sets the tone for like what's good and bad really well. He gave us such good perspective on, you know, the presidency. Like, damn, we have like really, really, really good presidents like Obama, and then we have like the, the other side of the spectrum, like Trump. So it's just like we really get to see the, the ends of each side. And that to me was, was super cool that he allowed us to, to see that. Yes, well, I feel like, you know, Obama has a really good filter and he's I very I feel like that was more spoken. for me to answer. <laughs> like, you, you kind of, you know, you, you just asked a question, I answered, then you go, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's kind of how we've been doing it. Number five, why is, is Donald Trump the most amazing POTUS ever? Well, uh, how much time you got on the tape? I could say a lot, but I don't really feel the need to explain myself to a woman. <laughs> hey, how about we go ahead and move Louisiana. on, sweetheart? Are you from Louisiana? You know? Where I'm from, they still hit women. What sticks did you get? <laughs> My favorite out of this was number two. No, number two and number four. Number two and number four. Redneck Bobby, we just, you know, um, I don't feel like getting tied up and thrown into a closet and, and beaten and not fed for the rest of my life so and you don't deserve that <laughs> i don't deserve that <laughs> was it was it number two yes the one who had the the real the real answers about you know how his dad's a criminal <laughs> <laughs> oh no number number three. Oh, hello handsome i have to pick just one <laughs> this is horrible. I can't make a decision. Muscles? Okay. This one right here. Flexing. Number three revealed himself. <gasps> Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Yep. That was the most attractive one. Wow. Hi, I'm Kerry. I'm from Russia. I'm 24. Name something that makes you cry. Guy number one. I hate just watching people abuse animals. It's, it's horrible. I, I don't know. I just it's something I hate. I go to shelters and I try to take care of the animals with everybody else. I don't know. I, I wish they stopped doing that. I wish they would. Okay, number two. Whenever I watch people's stories on America's Got Talent and they're always sad, that makes me cry. When military husbands come home to their families, I bawl. Number four. First off, hi, how are you? Good, thank you, how are you? I'm good as well. I just wanted to introduce myself and these other fellas clearly. 
don't care about you, but I do. Um, <clears throat> when when the Lakers lose, that that's that really makes me upset. Couldn't care about the animals, but the Lakers that that really um touches me. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to say I really love Russia. I'm a really big fan of the the country as a whole. Um, welcome to America. Thank you. Something that makes me really sad is seeing our American values just going down the drain as of recently. No disrespect to contestant number one, but I love my meat, you know? And I feel I grew up hunting, so not that I don't care about the animals, but I, I love my red meat. My favorite is a guy who loves animals. Not Lakers, not uh, somebody else. <laughs> my least favorite is guy who told about Lakers. Hey, get off my video, bro. I'm pro-life. So, if I was to ever conceive a child, I would keep it. How do you feel about us waiting until marriage? Man, uh, first of all, I, I just want to know, where would you like to get married? Do you want to do it here? Do you want to do it in Russia? And then, it's my heart. <coughs> and, okay, these guys are haters. Uh, sorry. Um, but I'll just have you know, I'm really tall, so our kid would be like super tall. I, I know you love that. I don't know if you're into sports or anything like that. Um, but I would love to have a child with you. You seem, the way you walked in, you seem so, geez, very cute. Like the crop sweater, that was tight. You're, yeah. Do you want to answer the question? Or? I didn't answer the question. She said, would I have a kid with you? How would you feel about waiting, waiting until marriage? Sorry, guys, I got excited. i wait till marriage. I wouldn't mind that. Uh, I wouldn't mind waiting till marriage because I feel like it builds uh, true uh, passion for when it actually does happen. Well, first off, I'd like to say I am also pro-life. Abortion is murder, and I stand by that for the rest of my life. Go God. And secondly, as much as I love the idea of waiting until marriage, you got to try out the food before it's the same meal for the rest of your life. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't mind waiting 90 days. I don't mind waiting six months. I don't mind waiting a year to be with you sexually, but waiting till marriage, that's a big commitment. And what if I make that contract and then hate that pussy? So I got to... I gotta try it out first. Guy number four. Um, no. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> ah, well, honestly, I come from a Christian background, so I do understand and am willing to compromise in that regard. I think life is precious. However, um, you know, I just can't see me being able to withstand that accent and not have some sexual frustration, but I am willing to do what it takes. Go Russia. It's not a hockey game. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you always you always go go Russia. Russia. Okay, the best two? Two, I told you I up the ante. She didn't like me in the last question. Are you sure you didn't mean to say three? And Did least four. At least four. <laughs> My girlfriend's gonna love this video. If you were to describe yourself using a song or movie, what would you choose and why? Number one. Uh, have you ever seen Armageddon? Yes. All right, that's like one of my favorite movies and just that song right there is, that's me. You know, cause I wanna, wanna be there when your eyes close. You know, I want, I want you to dream about me. That's like, for me, that's like, that would describe me. Just somebody, you know, I, it's no better way I can do it guys. Number two. <laughs> Uh, probably Nirvana, Come As You Are, because uh, I'm all about acceptance. <laughs> oh, y'all think that's funny? That's funny to you guys? Number three. First off, I just want to say Anna Kornikova, one of my favorite athletes. Fantastic tennis player, so talented. I would say that I identify between Top Gun and Rocky One. What's that movie where the U.S. beats Russia in hockey? I, either that movie or The Longest Yard. That's me. The longest of the yards. Sorry, could you repeat the question, please? Well, actually, I just want to I, point out that number just, six is not a good listener because we all heard the questions. Well, there are, there are only five yeah, people. Five. There are only five people. Oh, sorry, people. number five. Yeah, look at you. Look and, and, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, go, yeah. And, go and ahead, maybe, five. Maybe, maybe you should be quiet, huh, bud? Yeah? Yeah, it's not bad, it's not bad. And I, I heard the question. I just wanted to hear a voice again. Now, I would, I would say that one of my favorite songs, it goes a little something like this. Making my way downtown. 
walking fast. Race is past and I'm homebound. Did you say race is past? Wait, what did you say? Race is past? You don't even know the song. It's not race is past? No. Race is past. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Okay, the best five. Five was your favorite? Yeah. The guy who doesn't listen? That's crazy. <laughs> I think this guy has very good sense of humor. <laughs> Thank you. So who, who's your least favorite? Yeah. Two or four. <laughs> Two or four. <laughs> Two or four. Two or four. All right. My favorite in group is number five. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> 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 you now. It's ready to get mad. My least favorite is number three. What? <laughs> <laughs> Based on looks, I'm going to the date with the guy in the blue shirt. <laughs> it's number three? <laughs> yes? That was number three. Number five, you may reveal yourself. Very beautiful voice. <laughs> Right. So, whoa, 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 just real quick, on looks, why? He, he stands no, out. Well, I wasn't talking to any of y'all. <laughs> because he's looking... Conservative? <laughs> 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 That's the word! Thank you so much. All the day's work. So I can... Good night! What's your boy on the man of the year? I'm not a fan of your peers.